not even all that bad down here. At least not compared to your cooking. Uh, we will find another way to oh, come back. Now they're no, starting to choke after How sleeping in the smoke for the whole night. This it should be me. It has to be. Oh shit. I, I gotta go. Hope. Never end a phone there, call Hope? like that. Never start a phone call like that either. You want to work with your uncle here in the physical plant? Yeah. Instead of going to school? Yeah, Silas here. He's... It's the hardest work you ever want to meet. Your mind. I'm Silas getting bad vibes harsh. from the uncle. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I was going to say. Get your hands off him, you creep. He's a good kid. Go now. It's frozen. It's frozen? What? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Already? Because I can hear what you're saying. But it, for a second there, it wasn't the case, was it? I can hear you. You can't hear me. No, I, I could hear you for the whole damn thing, pretty much. No. What? <laughs> this is fucked. What is causing so much strain? Is it the nine programs we have recording? No, it couldn't possibly be. Your screen, but you you can still record your screen. Hello. Right, yes, okay, this will work now, definitely. Oh, yeah, it's his yeah. uncle or something, or his dad, but it wasn't really. Oh, if you stuck a tire on a zombie. That would quite effectively immobilise it. Yes. Like the arms wouldn't be able to get you and you could just knock it over and roll it down a hill somewhere. Oh no, the torch is ha just happens to not be working. Really? I thought we were going to avoid the constant cliches. What made you think that? Yeah, actually, I don't know why I thought that. There's no basis for that <laughs> being the case, is there? There's probably barred some zombies in there, that's why. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, fuck off. I hate this guy. <laughs> wow, that escalated. Where's Hope? Last episode, you just said they were boring, but now you hate him. Where the hell's It's home? just like it's it's only episode three, and they've already fucking caught up with them. Hmm. Let's see if it's working. Lol. Son of a mother. Son of a mother. Mm. I guess the rest of that um, swear was just slightly out of their uh, fifteen rating. Our mistakes. Shouldn't have to follow us. Okay. <laughs> and what does that happen? Sometimes our mistakes follow us. Did Hope say anything Jesus. else? This no. sucks. I'm bored. This is boring. <laughs> She's done something she feels bad about. That's why I shouldn't. That's why I can't. That's why I didn't even. Oh, oh spit it, it out! <laughs> Oh, you have such a wonderful bedside manner. Give us the big flashback that explains it all. I don't think headphones do that. 
Unless you, like, drop them in the bath or something. Right. The reason we got walls is to keep the monsters out. The monsters out. Mm, hi. I mean... Yeah, I, I get angry when Spotify doesn't work. Maybe but I mean... he was genetically engineered. Huh? <laughs> to, to be what? Hope, Hope where are you? To, to have super strength. Super strong. What's the bad news? Bad Fuck, news. I hope that's the direction this takes. So I, uh, took the whole thing apart and now uh, I don't know how to put it back together. How's your day? You dumbass. Hey, this sucks. <laughs> These will help the smoke. Lucky for you, blood extras. Take the lead, I'll cover They already had masks. You brought extras. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the characters. Like, I... I don't think I can. Felix was all fucked up last episode. Now Huck's in a well, bad mood. When she seemed really overly chill before. And there's the fucking rhinoceros horn. Triceratops, whatever the fuck. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking triceratops, you dingus. It's a fossil. It belongs in a museum. Oh. Yeah. She just managed to get it working. Well, she's hand cranking it instead of just turning it on, I guess. That was dumb. That's dumb. Did you see that? It's fucking like it's neck cracking. Neck clip yeah. shit. But that's what a badass does. Who the fuck do you think you are? Fucking hell! Oh. <laughs> just... How can you not jump down two steps? How can and you? And now you've. Fucked your ankle from that! <laughs> Almost as if you should have just stepped down the two steps. Almost this as... sucks! It's, it's, yeah, it's not good. Now's not the time for flashbacks. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. Yeah, we know how it goes. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Yeah, I see what you're doing, immortal thy hand. Thy fearful yeah. symmetry. Jesus Christ. That doesn't actually work from what I've heard. Like if you throw a lighter or a match onto this shit. You don't know. Well, no, they've myth- You don't know. I don't, but I'm pretty sure they myth busted it or something. Also, nah. you, now you haven't got a lighter. Legit to me. She hasn't got a lighter now. Surely that was more useful to keep. It's cool though. Than no. Kill all... Look how cool it is. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. This is so fucking cool. <laughs> but what did she even achieve there? She just killed some zombies she was in front of anyway. Kapow! This is, this is dumb. Felix, stop what spinning it around. You're not a fucking Power what Ranger. In what furnace was thy brain? My Put that back on. <laughs> oh. Oh, good. That was sudden. Oh, for fuck's sake. It was, it was a weird scuffle. Um, oh no, who of the five survivors could possibly save her? Kill number First one. First kill. First blood. Well done, Iris. Oh, no. Too bad. That cancels it out. And then she'll come and... Yeah. Why are you smiling wow. about it? Your sister's about to die. Does this need to be in slow motion? I don't think it did. This is your new home now. You get a fresh start. Did yeah, bring back Mr. Mr. Bawley or whatever the fuck it was called. 
Rich, I'm surprised you don't remember. What was it you, called? You were chanting along with all of them. It's big, 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 big Mo. Mo. Yeah. Is it Big Mo? Yeah, Big Mo. Big Mo. Says it on the bag. Oh no, he's gonna get crushed. Look yeah. at his Hulk strength. Yes. Wow. Yes! Out of nowhere, this started collapsing. Don't hey. just stand there. No, Fucking... no, no, no. Just watch. Just watch as this crowd of zombies slowly makes their way over this uh, temporary barricade. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. Or not. Oh, or they're just going to stand there. Of the night. This is. What you oh, this sucks. <laughs> Dare frame thy fearful symmetry. Well, everyone, Nathan's patience has hit its limit. <laughs> It took it's three... alright. The the second episode was alright. Well, there's still fucking twenty minutes, fifteen minutes left of this episode. Jim. Why has he got a fishing rod? I don't. Why are you? Why? What, what are you doing? Think about what you want. Is I this want this there? to end. <laughs> so, what do you think about all these zombies and stuff? I scared her. She shot mom. That much is true. That's that was quite unavoidably your fault. I killed her. The gun and it went off and I shot her. Hmm. Interesting wording. I picked up the gun and it went off. It's fine. The plot clearly forgives you. <laughs> also, you didn't mention the explosion. No. Not that it totally redeems it you, off. but it's it's clearly it trying to. It just went off. Yeah. Giving me an option. Not real. Uh, I guess that's what I'm saying. At least until I can. Convince you to just turn around and go back, which I will. Felix, do you want to um, no. borrow Huck's sunglasses? You're squinting really a lot. Worth. I'm sorry, I dragged you into this. Like ninety percent of the time, you're squinting. But I'm kind of glad you're here. Well, that makes one of us. That just shows how cool I'm he sorry is. For stealing your jacket. Cool guys squint at explosions. Animals. Even though they look really good on us. Uh, nah, I totally look better on me, Will. Yeah. Uh, wacky, quippy, shitty, twatty. Was to save my mom's manuscript. She oh, never fuck off. So yeah, and now Hops is going to see the photo of her. For her please, please don't. Oh, when did that happen? Uh, holding up the fence, I guess. Yeah. She just waited all this time to <laughs> do anything about it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll wait till we're it's leaving. Because it's not important. It feels like this episode has been ending for the past 15 minutes. Yes, because it has been. Are you going to fuck? Oh, God. This is the guy from... Who said one line to her in the first episode. <laughs> Neutralize this motherfucker. She's gonna burn him and oh then cut his God. head off. And then freeze him. And then deafen him. And then make him a coffee. Oh, they got bullets with their names. They're gonna play Russian roulette. We have energy, water, medicine, uh, the courts, the schools, culture, currency and economy, agriculture, manufacturing. It didn't seem like a threat. They were going to be. With respect, ma'am, that's shit logic. You got all that stuff, but you don't got spoons. <laughs> Answer it. Check the peephole, you fucking idiot. Oh no, it's the fencing experts. You will be remanded to the CRM Health and Welfare Complex until you are deemed ready to serve again. It's a goddamn lie. You know what we did! <laughs> Episode Throd. Well, we thought it was 
the description that I mistakenly read said it would be all about Silas facing his past, but we still don't know what the fuck he did. Beyond, he beat someone. He beat someone up. To the point. He, well, can, to the point yeah, where police were involved. Have killed them. He must have killed them. I guess, yeah. Or, or really badly hurt them for people to be like, oh my god, come to the bear. Yeah, that was one of the lines they said. Yeah, it should have been one episode. Yeah, you don't it, drag it out. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. It feels so fragmented because they were, they had the obvious little hints about it, and they've with this episode they've kind of shown us stuff, but they're also still just hinting. They haven't just yeah. told us what it was. But it's not. Yeah, but it's now not really that interesting because we can kind of. Work out the rest for ourselves. Yeah, which people will do if you don't tell them for long enough. We only got half the story, and I don't. Yeah, I just don't know vague. what the fuck they're trying to do a lot of the time. I, and when I do know what they're trying to do, it's so painfully obvious. The end of the last episode was her walking into the smoke and the fire um, to go to the siren place and then this episode starts with ring ring hello i'm there now <laughs> it's like what pretty, pretty much yeah you, like you oh so you found it then and you got inside no problem yeah and nothing there was followed you yeah um yeah and then she's like oh i've broken it and then she's like ah, i fixed it <laughs> yeah what the, that, that was all pointless as well like I, I assumed they were going to need someone else there with uh, fucking engineering skills of some kind, but no, she just... Well, it's okay that she f- fixed it, but, like, it can't. you can't have it be a broken it, next next scene, I fixed it. Like, she, if they were going to do that, she should have got there, like, right at the start of the episode and been like, oh, it's fucked. And then, you know... There's build tension cutting back between back and forth between like you know some zombies that are fucking up there maybe they're like yeah, stuck they've... on they're stuck on like some ropes or something so she thinks that they're not a threat but then they get loose and or it's like one of those zombies where they've got no legs so they're crawling really slowly towards her and she doesn't realize at first yeah. but then you know the tension as she's trying to fix it and but yeah, they didn't do any of that. Yeah, it it's like you say, just one scene to the next fix. So it's pointless even bringing it up. She might as well have found the raid, uh, the siren in working condition. It's all cliched, you know. Yeah, there's just no engagement. No, it it was like hops in in the fucking warehouse thing. Oh, the torch conveniently runs out of battery, so there's tension, and then. Uh, she's coming. But it wasn't even like they changed nothing because it was the torch wasn't doing that much anyway. And well, no, there was in fact an emergency was, light right next to her. So there was a single zombie that headbutted a thing, and then she ran away. Yeah, and then coming down the ladder, she twisted her ankle when she could have just stepped yeah. down those two steps and not done that. With these flashbacks. Um, they didn't really tell us anything new. No. Like, he, yeah, we already... he was ostracised by other people. We knew that. He is awkward and quiet. We knew that. He's uncomfortable with what he did. We knew that. All we saw is a bit of what he did where, he, yeah, he was beating someone. We could have pretty much gathered But we that. guessed that that was the thing in, like, episode one. We were like, oh, he's going to have secret Hulk strength. Yeah. It was fucking dull and nothing happened and they're not characters that are interesting or engaging in any way but we did get our first kills the sisters they killed to save each other iris killed the zomb and then hope killed a zomb it is true tar zombies and Hey, maybe she should have used the lighter on them instead of the ones that were behind her and no threat to her whatsoever. Yeah, lol. My general feeling is that of uh, Silas's expression in this screenshot. 
Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to... Oh, no. <laughs> I feel like they can't structure action scenes very well. I don't think they can structure anything. It just gets very confusing. I don't know. She was, like, pushing them, but then they should have also been knocking her... It was just a mess. Um, It didn't look a very good. Atari mess. Yeah. It just didn't look very good. Um... And, yeah, excessive slow motion. Um, we're getting flashbacks every episode, I've realised as well. She Very... told her that she shot the thing and they were like, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was totally fine. Like, because the tension, I assumed she already knew. Because the tension, for me at least, and probably for you as well, if there was any, uh, was between her and Doctor Who, because woman she shot was his mum the idea mm. of her telling Iris was I didn't even consider it this wasn't really a payoff or anything nah I kind of assumed she may have already known and and yeah obviously your sister is probably going to forgive you for this even though she didn't explain it all that well she said the gun went off I mean whatever kid trauma hazy experience it's it's all bad it's all bad because it all revolves around that bad scene <laughs> and you can't get away from it yeah your your pivotal foundation of your character is a fucking awful awful scene that's not good the only, yeah, the only good bit of this episode was was that end end bit with the leader of the CRM. Um, yes, and you can tell she's evil because she's uh, nationalistic British. or something, or maybe just that. Yeah, maybe I don't know what they were going for here, but it was it just I don't know. There's something laughable it's, about it. It's yeah, so blatant. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. Yeah, like because yeah. the 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 other posters on the walls that were kind of reminiscent of that kind of World War Two propaganda type thing. It was like they were, um, weren't they? Yeah, the, um, not, yeah, that, that one, not that one. Yes, that one. Self indulgence at this time is helping the is enemy. Helping the enemy. It's that that font is very yeah. Um, World you War you II almost want to see uh, the guy the. The man with the moustache the and he's pointing yeah. at you but except he's a zombie and his arm is reaching out at you yeah so the flag shouldn't yeah could have got rid of the flag but the interesting <laughs> thing here is yeah they there's 200,000 of them yes they have electricity and gas and wine and soup and lights and they they fucking everything yeah running water they have a society. They live in a society. <laughs> they do live in a society. You can see it out the window. Yeah, wherever mm. the CRM is, is uh, they're like doing an rather well thing. for themselves. Yeah, which begs the question: Why they felt the need to gun down nine thousand six hundred and seventy uh, university settlers? Because they were a threat. Yeah, and but that didn't really make any sense like he, well because he was asking about this and she said okay so you're having doubts or whatever and then she turned on all the appliances and said look mm -hmm. at all this cool shit we've got now do you see why we had to kill them no i don't because they'll take it but they won't because there's 200,000 of them. And so they vastly outnumber and outgun them. Maybe it's to do with resources. 200,000 is, is the limit. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Listen, she did a cry at the end. She feels bad also. So, you know, get off her case. I feel like that's going to go nowhere. There's other things going on. There's, I, well, I think there's got to be something else going on here. But I'm not sure there's anything yeah. else going on here. So it's interesting that they're so well established. Um, they have a whole. What did she say she was sending him to? Like, oh, she said it was education like education or something. But yeah, that just sounds like you know, 
brainwashing than that you know yeah you must be but i mean and... the the thing the the fact that she didn't just fucking kill him um she got him arrested essentially and the fact that then she didn't do an evil smile she she does actually she turned everything on again to block out the the thoughts in her head that maybe she has fucked up and then she 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 did a little cry yeah okay that's at least different we've not had that okay shred of credit where it's due that was not cliched although she did get out her gun when he was being arrested she just i don't know i guess just in case he went mental about the idea yeah the first episode was a bit well you know pilots are hard second episode was was all right it was going in the right direction it's a slow burn seemed to have some kind of structure but then this is just fucking all over the place and then yeah it ended with 15 minutes still to go and then it ended three more times and then this bit with the the villain is the only interesting bit yeah and only because you know we still had unanswered questions from the first one which i guess are answered now they really yeah. did mow down 9,600 so people. Them. There's still, there still might be reasons. <laughs> I hope I mean, there's reasons, because so far the reasons are barely reasons. Yeah, I but know, I mean, she feels sad. That's almost depth. Yeah, it's almost depth. At least that... it's something different. Back of the box quote. Almost depth. The characters almost have depth. <laughs> uh, you hated that episode more than me. I, I certainly don't think it was good, but uh, as we were going through it, I felt like your patience really just broke, and uh, I, I was sort of still... Maybe I'm just more resigned yeah. to the level of quality. Uh, maybe because I thought it was going to be a good one, and it, uh, <laughs> it was just boring... Mm-hmm. Perhaps though it was those with more hope wasn't. have further to fall. And the Union flag in Kublak's home is hung upside down. Thus it is the symbol of the Antichrist. Uh, boring and disjointed, I almost fell asleep. It, okay. Interesting. Yeah, the last five minutes you wrote this, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> one out of five stars. But two out of ten wasn't the worst thing I've seen. Rigging endorsement. Mm. <laughs> Unwatchable badness. I think the bad poetry reading stunned the dead and allowed them to escape. The problem is, what is... Why does this exist? What is the unique... The unique thing was supposed to be, oh, it's about these kids who have grown up in the apocalypse. They can't really remember life beforehand Mm. that's what it was supposed to be about but it's yeah it's they've not they should have gone full into that it should have been unique these four kids these four kids run away for a variety of different reasons because they're bored of living in safety or they want to find out about the world or they're bullied or or they've they've accidentally fucking killed someone or mm. you know and it should have just been them kind of discovering themselves and each other a metaphor for you know growing up and it but now they've just fucking got these other cunts along with them uh are we allowed to say cunt in this oh yeah even if you're going to be doing generic plots you have to have interesting characters or if you've got generic characters then make the plot a bit special like it doesn't all have to be unique and original it just has to be something yeah well yeah it's just balance again isn't it it's it's you don't have to be subverting expectations at every corner but every corner can't be so predictable that it might as well not even be a corner because you can just see what's through it if, if this tortured metaphor yeah, is working. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? It does make are sense. You saying, it's, it's, you're saying that we're going round and round and round about and not turning off. I'm, I'm saying that there's a we're corner there. Dizzy. There's supposedly a corner with something around the side, but 
we already know what's around the side, so it might as well not be a corner because we can hear it or predict it or whatever. It look, it doesn't matter anyway. The ratings actually go up towards the end of the season. We were right in that it's because so many people, you know, are off. dropping yeah. off. Yeah, there's so many. So many of these are saying, "I'm done. I've lasted three episodes. I'm. This is it. I'm." F- Fuck it, you know. These are the votes on the episode, isn't it? Yes. This episode okay. has had 974 ratings. Okay, so yeah. 974. Right, how many rated the the episode 7 or something? 677, yeah. So it's gone down by almost a third. All I can offer for Solace is this. This looks nothing like what they do when they're socially interacting with another. They do perform all sorts of odd behaviours much like we might do in front of a mirror to see what we look like when we do that new dance step or when we just want to see how we look. (laughs) That's episode three. What a jolly time it was. Uh, By which I mean, of course it fucking wasn't. 